Good morning YouTube's quick GSXR update. First of all, apologies for the state of the workshop. It is in a real bad state. But um, I started putting this apart the other day and I haven't tied it up at all. So as you can see, it looks a little bit different to the intro video that I did. Uh, first things first, new battery on there. So that's done and I have had a delivery from the posty this morning all this stuff some of this stuff did arrive the other day brake pads etc so i'm going to unbox all of these and at the end i'll show you what i've got but there is quite a bit of stuff as you would expect for a bike that's been off the road for over a decade anything rubber is obviously going to be replaced uh, it's going to need tires well rear sprocket looks good it's quite a new rental chain mm, probably going to put a new one on yeah rear caliper is going to need stripping front sprocket i haven't seen rear shock that probably needs replacement air filter you won't be able to see in there but that's a k and n in quite nice condition uh fork seals they need doing they've arrived uh but one of my guard bolts at the back is seized so I can't take the brace off, so the forks have got to be dropped out anyway, just to get that done. Front calipers are off, as you can see. Yeah, they're horrible. Look at all the muck in there, so they need doing. And obviously the master cylinder's off, that's gonna get done as well. Uh, what else, what else? Oh, yeah, for those of you in the know, you can probably tell by the fact that I have a selection of drills and a tap and a back wheel. Yeah, apart from anything, the rear disc was only hold on, held on by two bolts. So I do have a bolt kit that should be arriving at some point. And one of the discs, disc bolts had sheared off. It was actually that one. And it was stainless. So you can imagine that took a little while to drill that out and tap that out but obviously i only have one to use to locate the disc so i was a bit concerned that it wouldn't go straight someone had already started to drill it um, but i managed to get that sorted and that's all lovely everything lines up so they'll be going in with a bit of loctite and uh, the disc's in good condition it's got no lip at all so that'll get cleaned up wheel's going to get painted i think i'm going to go black because the i think these have been painted at some point in the past but the 86 bike which is obviously what this is with the colors there's all the, all the bodywork uh should have black wheels and black mirrors the mirrors are here we go and the mirrors are white they're not in the best of condition so i've ordered some black mirrors they're on the way so that should be good exhaust pipe now for those of you in the know will know that this year should have come with a 1052 motor 1052 cc this is an 1127 so it's an, a newer um model this would have been from the i think jk bikes but either way the exhaust pipe which is a very nice standard, pretty good condition. Oh, excuse the sandals, I just chucked them on to get outside for the postman. A nice condition, you can probably tell by the bracket there what I'm gonna to come to. Nice condition, early, early 1100 pipe, doesn't fit because when you try and mount it, it hits the sump. So the can hangs too far up at the back. So, uh, a friend of mine who used to drag race uh, bandits and stuff like that, he's got an exhaust pipe, which I'm going to try. He's also got uh, a nice flowed head with cams, race springs. He's got a big block uh, motor. He's got various sumps, so I might just change the sump and use that standard can, that standard exhaust. Uh, he's got some nice flat slide carbs. He 
you've got quite a few tuning parts but obviously they're not cheap and whilst this bike was cheap I don't really want to spend a fortune on it and because it is still fairly standard that might be the way I'll go uh, I'm not really interested in tuning it to make it fast but this exhaust weighs a fucking ton if ever you've picked one of these up I mean I'm not going to weigh it I don't think I've got any scales that go that high it is ridiculously heavy and I'm talking it's got a weigh here you go, let's give it a guess. I reckon that has got to weigh 10 to 15 kilos. Easily. Yeah, crazy. Right, let's get this unboxed. And I'll be back in a second to show you all the goodies that I've bought. Cheers. I'm back and I've unboxed everything. Now, firstly, and the thing I'm happiest with is... Now, you wouldn't have seen this, but someone has butchered the back end of this bike. There's a bracket there, which supports the number plate light, and it's been cut off at the rear. Now, I didn't know what was missing. So I posted one of the GSXR pages, and a chap called Gary, thank you, Gary, you're a lifesaver, messaged me and said, I might have the bits that you need. Basically, there's a big cover that goes over the tail light. If any of you are familiar with these bikes, you'll know what I mean. And he had one, and he was willing to sell it, which is very decent of him because he's put a single seat unit on his bike, which looks very nice. Uh, but yeah, it has a cover there. But obviously, someone had chopped it off, so there was going to be nothing to mount it to. So I was basically just going to bond it in place. Uh, it wouldn't have been pretty. I'd have put a new bulb in because obviously the screws would be, be hidden there. But he said, let me see what I've got. So, not only did it arrive very well packaged with a nice bit of cloth, but look, we have in beautiful condition the cover. Obviously, that, that recesses, but that goes on there. And he only found the bracket as well. Now, these are rare. So, it was really really decent of him to dig these out and obviously sell them to me so they are going to get wrapped up but what i will say is that on its own um gave me a bit of faith in the gsxr community because the pages are just so full of scammers and uh i did say to gary look can you just post a photo with your name on a bit of paper and he did straight away because he understood that it's just a nightmare at the moment, but yeah, absolutely top bloke. So Gary, thank you very much. You are a lifesaver. That will be going back on this bike and it will be making it look nice. So, right, that's the important bit done. Next bit. Footrest, because this has got a set of homemade, I mean, to be fair, they're not bad, but they're homemade rear sets. I want standard pegs on so standard pegs um i've got a rebuild kit uh for the master cylinder that'll be getting done new brake pads all round because obviously the ones on the bike are 10 years old no one's gonna fuck around with 10 year old brake pads are they owner's handbook haha <laughs> i like to collect stuff like this just to make up a little bit of history with the bike Workshop manual, which does cover GSXR, 750, 1100, from the small motors up to the big motors. So there'll always be something useful in a Haynes manual, even though it does seem to cover an awful lot of different models. To be fair, it's one of the thickest Haynes manuals I've seen. Uh, but that'll be handy because they're always useful. Indicators, bit of a shout out here to Ledger Motorcycles. Hey, and they sent a sticker. Who doesn't like a sticker for their toolbox? But anyway, yeah. Reproduced indicators. This has got, look at those. Sorry about that, I should have given a warning first. Yeah, it's got indicators from the 90s stuck on it 
horrible. So I've got rears and I've got fronts. Now the fronts, when I fitted those abortion indicators on the front, there are some extra holes. Now there should be a grommet that goes around there. I've got to source those. So if anyone uh, knows where you can get them, let me know. Oh, and also I need a right hand footrest and gear lever. Uh, right hand, left hand. Left hand footrest and gear lever. Uh, so if anyone knows where I can find one of those, because they seem to be difficult to get, let me know. And if anyone wants to buy some rear sets, let me know as well. They'll be up for sale. I have got, now I've not used these, this company before, Apex, but that is, I won't bother getting them out. Front brake caliper rebuild kits. They're going to get rebuilt, obviously, as you can see. And uh, what do we got? I think that is the front brake master cylinder rebuild kit as well. So that's the front brakes. Yeah, master cylinder rebuild kit. Uh, there is a rear on order somewhere. That'll be on its way. And uh, rear brake caliper. Fork seals, because they need doing. I've used pyramid parts before. And I've never had any problems with them. So... I thought, why not? Let's go from again. They all seem uh, decent quality. As I say, I've used them previously. Uh, they do a set with, I used them on the Ducati, which is another one of those covers, uh, where I rebuilt them and I put new bushings in as well. And I was pretty happy with them. So they went in and then some rental grips. I like nice grips rather than cheap crappy ones and I do like these diamond waffle whatever they are so they'll be going on as well and lastly as I mentioned previously before I'd unboxed bear with me black mirrors and I have compared these to the standard mirrors and there we go they're just a tiny bit smaller for some reason but hey I'm not bothered about that but they're yeah these are nice so I'm pleased about that they'll go straight on and give it a bit more of a OEM look again so that's where we are at the moment there is a lot of work to do yeah these are standard lot I've got a horrible phone one on that side and then uh, whatever that is that actually looks OEM actually on that side so a fair bit to do and as you know if you buy a bike you find lots of little not bodges but things that aren't right a bit like the rear brake disc being held on with two bolts airbox yep that's not secured at all there were a few bits i have degreased the bike so it has been jet washed and degreased and it has come up pretty good to be fair uh, but yeah, it's, like, it's, it's exactly the bike that Chris sold me. There was a few things he didn't know because he bought it and never used it. So he wouldn't have known about the bit, about the rear wheel. He didn't know about the 1127 motor. And there was a few other bits, odds and sods. Uh, but yeah, as I, say, I chucked a battery on it, chucked some fresh fuel in it. And the bloody thing fired up about, spent over about six times and then sparked into life. Good old lumps these. Right then, unfortunately I've got to go to work today, so uh, I'm off in a little bit, and then maybe next week I'll start this, start bolting the bits back on, brake calipers first, get the front end done, get the fork seals done, get the wheel out, get these discs checked, check all the bobbins, check the wheel bearings, needs a new front tyre, and then I'm going to paint the wheels black. Because someone's painted these. Look, they didn't even mask the valve off. Oh, yeah, that sort of thing annoys me. Anyway, right. I'll catch you soon for the next update. And hopefully it should be looking a bit better than it does now. Right, take care, everyone. Catch you later.